I'm Dr. Greg Ellis, and I want to talk about fat burning today. A lot of people seem to dispute what I say when I say the body prefers to burn fat. These people clearly don't understand any biochemistry. So this is my screenshot, my sophisticated way of presenting a screenshot. And this is right out of Leninger's biochemistry book. So I'm going to show you how this works. All right. Now, the compound is called citrate. And citrate is converted to acetyl-CoA. Now look at the triggers of this. <laughs> Insulin triggers this enzyme right here, citrate lyase, to convert the citrate into acetyl-CoA. Now the next move for the acetyl-CoA, which is the primary end product of the process of burning either glucose or fat, that is blocked. This enzyme called acetyl-CoA carboxylase is blocked by gluc glucagon, epinephrine, and prevented from going on to the next step. Now the next step is the conversion of that acetyl-CoA into malonyl-CoA. Malonyl-CoA is the first committed step for the conversion of acetyl-CoA to turn into fat, body fat. So you have to remember that. That's the first committed step. So these enzymes that process fuel, both fatty acids and glucose, are controlled by enzymes. And those enzymes cannot work in the face of these different triggers, like insulin, for example, which comes from eating carbohydrates. So this is the biochemistry behind all this. And to dispute this would be certainly foolhardy, but most people seem, many people seem to do it. Obviously, they don't understand anything about biochemistry. And they can't argue with me about the idea that the body prefers to burn fat as a primary fuel because everything will block the burning of glucose if fat's being burned. And then, of course, the glucose is being converted into malonyl-CoA, which is the precursor for fat. So that's the way it works, guys. No difference in that. And we've got to keep that in mind if we want to have a clear view and a clear understanding of how the body processes food as fuel. So that's biochemistry. Can we call it 101? And it's in a biochemistry textbook, so we could call it something like that. Obviously, it's more detailed in many ways in other books and research papers, but this has been known now for quite some time. So quit disputing the facts, guys. No need to do that. I'm Dr. Greg Ellis.